Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 235 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating the fact that some cases that appear to be easy may in reality be quite challenging. The patient was an elderly woman who presented with a significant angina. She was found to have an LAD CTO on coronary CTA and was referred for PCI of the LAD CTO. This is the coronary angiogram. The LAD is diffusely diseased and there's a very short occlusion after the takeoff of a diagonal branch. These are different projections with dual injection. We do have some septal collaterals filling the mid-LAD, although there may be some bridging collaterals also filling the LAD in the undergrade direction. So again, this appears to be a fairly short CTO with um, um, maybe 5 millimeters in length with diffusely diseased distal vessel. So we have a CTO of the LAD, there's short, diffusely diseased distal vessel, septal collaterals coming from the PDA, and um, there are also some epicardial collaterals distally. Our plan here was to try to wire undergradely. If that didn't work, go retrograde through septals and then use ADR as the third option. So we we'll try to use uh, undergrade wires, filter XTA, but the wire keeps on going to those small branches that were located at the proximal cap. We we'll switch for a stiffer guide wire, but once again, there's all this network of branches, and the wire keeps on going into those branches instead of advancing uh, into the distal cap. After multiple attempts, we did have uh, one of the Gaia next wires, the Gaia next two, go in the diagonal, but that was extra black. So after multiple attempts, we decided to move to step number two, which is to go retrograde. So we advanced a microcatheter, did a selective tip injection. We tried to advance uh, a guide wire through a distal septal branch that was not successful. And then um, we used a little more proximal septal and uh, a SUO3 guide wire uh, was able to be advanced relatively easily across the LAD, but unfortunately, the septal connects literally at the distal cap, which is one of the limitations of uh, going retrograde through more proximal septals. And actually, we were confused about it and took us a while to realize it, but it turns out the wire actually was going into a diagonal branch. This was not the LAD, but the septal was connecting with the diagonal branch. And despite all attempts, we could not actually wire retrograde and come back to the LAD. So now we left this wire there as a marker. And then we came back in the undergrade direction. We used uh, a Sasuke dual lumen and the Gaia next to guide wire. We tried to do parallel wiring. The wire seemed to be in the extra plug space. But uh, despite uh, doing the parallel wiring, we were unable to get in the true lumen. So we decided to change to undergrade dissection reentry, double blind stick and shrub, poking through both sides of the uh, stingray balloon, and then switching for a polymer jacket wire, but unfortunately this is still in the extra plug location. So troubleshooting went a little further down. We uh, did the so-called bobsled, and then we used an Astato 20, and that seemed to be going in the right direction but this is the contralateral injection to confirm. And what we often do is, during the injection, try to advance the guide wire slightly, and this seems to be going along the course of the vessel. So this is successful crossing into the distal true lumen. Unfortunately, we do have some space between the proximal cap and the re-entry point, and we were actually concerned about how we're going to enter into the diagonal branch. We tried a Sasuke dual lumen microcatheter. We tried to go retrograde potentially with those and tried to wire the other direction, but we were unable to do so. So eventually we went back into the undergrade direction. This is a Sasuke, and we used a Gladius Mongo guide wire in an attempt to try to wire into the diagonal branch. We do have the retrograde wire as a marker. 
and eventually we were able to advance it along the course of the vessel, but we weren't still sure whether we're in the right direction, so contralateral injection is done here through the microcatheter, and actually the guide wire is indeed into the true lumen. So we place tragaluting stand, jailing the diagonal branch, proximal optimization, the flow in the LED was not very good. There was some diffuse disease, so we did some prolonged balloon inflations in the mid LED. And this is the result. We did have T3 flow into the LED. We did have, actually, surprisingly, some septals coming out of the area which we thought we were going extra plaque. And there is still flow in the diagonal branch, although it does have some dissection. Several lessons from this case. The first one is that there is no such thing as easy CTOs. This appeared to be a very short CTO, but there were some parameters suggesting complexity, the small disease distal vessel, the small branches at the proximal cap. So what seems to be easy can sometimes be quite challenging. Like in all complex cases, persistence is uh, important, as is changing strategy if something doesn't work trying something else. In this case, we tried undergrade, we tried retrograde, and finally ADR provided the solution. In this case, uh, the septal that we went into was actually connecting to a diagonal and not the LAD per se. And that uh, made it more challenging to cross, but was useful by highlighting the position of the diagonal and the LAD. And then when re-entry fails in one location, Sometimes it may succeed by trying in a slightly different location, usually going slightly more distal. And one can use either the double blind stick and swap or the stick and drive technique. In our case, the stick and drive with an Astato 20 was a successful crossing strategy. Thank you.